This workout is guaranteed to get your abs popping. If you're in a rush, on the go, or even supersetting your workouts, this is the perfect daily routine to target your abs. I prepared one routine that's back-to-back -back lengthening and strengthening exercises to lean out your midsection and your waistline. All you need is your mat and your dumbbells, and then let's hit it. Here we go. Legs are wide for a nice big oblique crunch. Grab your dumbbell. All you do is one big crunch to the side and come up. We'll do 10. Here we go. Straight down, straight up. Keep your chest wide open. Tighten your abs. Just like a little teapot. Short and stout. Straight down, straight up. Good, make sure you breathe. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Good. Good, you got this. You're just in it. Just getting into it. And switch sides. Straight down, straight up. Again, thinking of your chest staying super open and be careful of that shoulder so that it doesn't cave forward, yeah? If this is your only workout for the day, I want you to hit this strong. Straight down, straight up. Less than three, beautiful. I know you look good. Put your weight to the side, come up to your plank, hands directly underneath your shoulders. I'm gonna demo what it looks like. Knee goes to the shoulder as you take a side crunch and we alternate sides. Let's do 20, here we go. Up, good, so we call these plank spiders. Tilting, good, scoop your lower abs in. Feel the side of your body. Good, these are great for your waistline. We're trying to target, we're trying to lean out. Good, less than five, you got this. Yes, good, stay in it, you got this. Three, two, one, beautiful. Take a moment, roll your wrists out. Good, because we're going right back into one more plank exercise. Tucking our knees and then popping up to our down dog. Watch one, tucking, back to plank, up and down. Here we go, just 10, hover and up. Now, send energy, send breath, send life to your lower abs, because that's what we're targeting. Straight down, straight up. Good, hit that plank strong every single time you get back to it. You got this. Straight down, straight up. Keep going. Again, two more. Good, last time, and drop it like it's hot. Moving to our side plank. So in this position, if you wanna stack your feet, that's gonna give you more of a challenge. Otherwise, split your legs to modify it. You're up, hand on your hip. Straight down and up 10 times, dip. These are actually my favorite oblique exercise. And I love hitting the obliques, right? We wanna feel that we're confident in the center of our body. Good, straight down, straight up. Woo! I feel these now. Good, last one. And now split your feet, drop your knee, and give yourself one big hug. This is called a bear hug. We'll do 10. Straight down, here we go. Up. So many animal names, big bear hug. Hug yourself, don't be shy. And reach up, energy through your fingers. As you reach up, feel the width in your back. Good, down, rotate, up. But be careful, make sure your hips aren't rotating with you. Just your upper body. Rotate, good. Feeling the rotation of your body. Feeling your obliques work harder. Reach up, good, switch sides. Again, make the choice. Red pill or blue pill, stack your feet or separate them. That's gonna be your modification, otherwise you're up. Straight down and up, 10. Whew. Good, if you can go lower, go lower. You can get higher, get higher, yeah? If this is your only workout, you're really taking it to the next level. Five more, down, good. Last two, make them good. And, Beautiful, separate your feet, knee down. Big reach up for our bear hug, 10 times. Down, rotate it, reach. Good. If you can smile through this, I award you. I will reward you because I know it's hard. I know it's a challenge. Twist, it's up. Good, last four. Scoop your belly in, don't forget. You're up, reach up. Good, last two. Final one, and a reach. Awesome work. Grab your dumbbell one more time for our Russian twist. Now for the Russian twist, make sure you're not in a perfect flat back because that's too much pressure for your lower back. Tuck your sits bones slightly, lean back to 45 degrees, and begin your twist. Here we go. Drop your weight. Woo! Good, if you can get back more, go ahead for it. In just 10 minutes, you're gonna feel a difference. 
twist more. Good, see if you can look back. Look back at it, look back at it. Good, last few. Try not to let your hips rotate, just your upper body. You got this, last two. Beautiful, drop your weight, put it to the side. Four count crunch, big sit up, down all the way. One vertebrae at a time goes to the floor and one vertebrae at a time all the way up, big sitting up position, like dominoes, lower back, middle back, upper back, chest, head, and right back up. It's gonna start to burn about now, and since it's burning, you gotta breathe deeper. It's burning, you gotta go for it. Good, reach up, sit up tall, and you're down again, lower back, crunch it under. One thing at a time, one piece at a time, and you're right back up. Beautiful, let your exhale lead you down, and then let your exhale lead you up. Good, see if you can get taller as you sit up, down. You're almost there, five more, you're halfway through. How are you gonna push yourself even more? What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about right now? Are you thinking about how good you're gonna feel when you finish? Yeah, the voice in your head, ignore the negative thoughts, you can finish this. Only the positive vibes, that's what we gotta focus on. And take it down, good, you're right there. Up, awesome work. Last time, you're down, and stay down. Hands behind your head, bring your feet in closer, simple crunches, you can do these, just 20 of them. Reach it up, see if you can bring your shoulder blades off the ground as you come up. Good, exhale as you come up, inhale as you come down. Good, up and down. Beautiful. I know you're killing it at home, keep going. Up, elbows stay wide, simple crunches. You're just attacking them, getting better. Every single one hits stronger. Every single one might get higher. Good, last few. Good, exhale, relaxing the muscles in your face. Sometimes we put so much tension. Relax it. <sighs> last two, last one, stay up. Another big animal that we love, a penguin. Side to side, reaching for your ankles. Here we go, we're doing just 20. Reach, reach. Shoulders stay wide open, keep them back. Good, waddling side to side, like a penguin would. Good. Another one of my favorites. I think I love all oblique exercises because we forget about them so much. Good, and right back down. Raise your legs up, these are our scissors. We're almost there, last three exercises. Come up to your crunch and switch legs. Switch, switch. See if you can get a little tug in there so you can get a nice hamstring stretch. Pull, good, opposite leg is straight down. Good, literally like a big scissor. Switch, switch. Good, keep those abs tight. Breathe a little bit deeper. Last three, two, beautiful. And hands behind your head. Just our lower body moves. Upper back is gonna hang out here. Knees up, lower it down. Toes are gonna tap the ground. Major key, if you can keep your lower back pressing down into the ground, that's how you know you are working your core over time. Keep your lower back down. Exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Woo! Not gonna lie, these are burning, but we're doing them together. Okay, let's get through it. You got it. Down. Good, last two. Amazing. Last one. Hold it out. Arms by your ears. Hold. Feet are a few inches off the ground. You got it. Keep your lower back pressing down. You're there. You're there. If you can get through this, you can get through anything. And relax it. Down. Let's switch. Same thing, but the opposite direction, like you're flying through the air. Superwoman, arms off the floor by your ears, feet off the floor, and just hold it. You got it. Feel like the superwoman you are. Get stronger, feel your back, feel your presence, feel confident as you lift. Start to swim through it. Good. What are you thinking about as you finish it? Get stronger. Good, abs tighter. You got three, you got two, you got one and relax. Hands underneath your shoulders, big stretch up. Long spine, shoulders away from your ears. Look how good you just did. From here, bring your hips way to the back. Feel the length in your back as you come to your child's pose. Just relax here for a moment, breathe. When you're ready, come on up. 
Good, so now you're back to your kneeling position. Place your hands behind your hips, press your hip flexors forward. If you can, you relax the back of your head. And if you can, you relax your hands. Thumb on the outside, this is called a camel position. Opening the front of your body, opening your chakras. And then bring your hands right back to your back and come up. Beautiful. Side of our body, we're gonna stretch. Big stretch to the ceiling and up and over. Feeling length from your hip all the way through. You finished it. Feel proud about what you just did. Reach it up one more time. We got one more good stretch. Bring your feet around. Crossing, lower back stretch, sit up taller. You might be taller now, more confident, stronger in the center of your body. So many benefits to this. Switch sides, bring that foot forward, sit up tall, stretch. Maybe you can see behind you. And back to the front, relax. Think about how hard you just worked and think about how many benefits there are to what you just did. Feel good about yourself, congratulations.